hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today and i welcome all my new subscribers my old subscribers i welcome everybody thank you for all your support and your likes your comments i appreciate everyone so in today's tutorial is going to be a quick one i'm going to be showing you how to make an athena for a dress so this um this uh, tutorial is going to be very short and easy. So, in order to make a thinner for dress, we're going to be needing our waist measurement, which will be for the skirt portion of the dress. Okay, so what I did was I divided, I, I multiplied the waist measurement of my client, which is 27 inches. I multiplied that by two because she doesn't want it to be very full. And 27 multiplied by two gave me 20, uh, 54 inches. So that will be the width of the, of the skirt that we'll be gathering. So I have 54 inches plus an additional two inches for the zipper allowance. And then for the length, I'm working with a length of 27. So the length will be going this way. So I have 27 plus one inch I have allowance. All right, so that gave me these are uh, this entire fabric here is the skirt portion so i will be gathering here up here we're going to use a gather stitch here which will now close this way so this will be the back after they are joined together so we're going to keep this aside and work on the upper part Okay, so I have this is the leftover fabric I have after I cut this out. So for the upper part, to cut out the upper part, which is going to be in a square form, you're going to use your nipple to nipple measurement. So your nipple to nipple measurement. Is what we're going to use as the width of the the upper part and then the length is going to be the um is going to be the shoulder to under bust measurement so like for instance for my clients our nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches the nipple to nipple measurement for my client is eight inches like i said so you'll be measuring it this way we will also add three inches to that measurement again for the weight of the upper part you're going to be using the nipple to nipple measurement so for my client i say that's eight inches so i'm going to add an additional three inches to that measurement and that will give me um one two three eleven inches so we'll be cutting eleven inches out as our width so we have about eleven inches plus about plus half an inch for the turning so i have 11 and a half so this will be my weight and then for the for the length you'll be using the un, shoulder to under bust measurement plus the neck weight so you're going to leave some space for the neck weight because you don't want it to be like entirely on your neck so i will for my client uh, Shoulder to under bust is 11 inches plus um, plus 3 inches for the neck weight, making it a 14 inches. Alright, so I have 14 inches right here. Let me mark that out. So this is my 14 inches. 
So I'm going to add an additional half inch for turning because we'll be cutting two of this and then we use one to turn the other. So I have 14 and half. So this is my 14 and a half inches. Okay, so that's what we're going to be cutting out. So the length of the upper part is going to be your under bust measurement plus three inches uh, for the neck weight. You can use one, one and a half or two and a half for your neck weight. It depends on you. And so the weight of the upper part is going to be your nipple to nipple measurement plus three inches um, extra plus half inch uh, for the hemming allowance. All right, so that's what I have here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So I'm cutting two of this. So I'm just going to split this into two. All right, so this is our upper part. We're going to be sewing it together and then we use it to turn, we use one to turn the other. Okay, so now we keep this aside. Next, we're going to work on the. We're going to work on the waistband. So the client, my client's waist, is uh, twenty-seven inches. So, okay, I have twenty-seven plus two inches again for the zipper allowance. All right, so I'm going to fold this. I'm going to be getting this to be I want the the length of the waistband to be um three inches three inches like this so that when you fold it when you fold it this way We fold it this way, then this will give you one and a half inches. Well, you can do a uh, four inches open, and then this way will give you two inches. So actually, let me just do four inches, okay? So let's make the width, the length of the band four inches. So I mark it right here, and then I'm going to just fold and put this on fold. Fold it and make sure that this gives you two inches. So I have two inches. I got two inches. And I have two inches. So now we're going to measure this. Remember, I said the waistband is going to be your waist plus uh, your zipper allowance. All right. So mine is. Uh, I've got uh, 29 inches in here. So that's my 29 inches. Which I'm going to go ahead and cut out. So 
so this is my um waistband right here okay so the next thing that we're going to cut out is going to be the shoulder the shoulder neckband this wasn't it okay so then i've gone ahead and cut the shoulder strip the shoulder band so this is going this is um your under bus plus uh, four inches uh extra to make the um the shoulder band however if you're going to crisscross yours like this if you're going yours is going to be like in a crisscross like this then you can double this so assuming your underboss is uh, 14, then you can make it uh, 28 so that you'll be able to crisscross it. But I'm not crisscrossing mine, so I made uh, mine the my underboss uh, measurement plus an extra 4 inches, and I have um, 16 inches. Okay, so this will be going over the... This is the front... This is the front, so it'll be going over like this. This will be going over like this, and then on the skirt, should be coming down like this on the band. Okay, all right, so this is the front. I pinned it here, here, and here, then I left the this open so after i will turn it over and iron now this is my waistband i've gone ahead and um, iron the interface on them so after i will be sewing it like this i'll be sewing the the waistband you fold it like this then we'll sew here I will close here, then sew and leave this open and then turn it over. Okay. Okay, so this is the step portion. So what you're going to do is mark out your zip allowance here. So this is the zip allowance. I marked the one inch. The two inch out one inch for here and then one inch the other side like this so after that then we will gather then you're going to use your we'll be gathering actually this is the bottom sorry so this is the top you're going to use your The gathering stitch and we'll gather from here we're going to gather all here and then the zipper allowance will be here the reason why i separated it first because i don't want to gather this area okay so you can do the same so I'll go to the story machine and gather okay so this is the front I've gone ahead and sewn around and then I flip it over. So this is the inside. After you sewn it, you just turn it over and give it a good press. So now to attach the, this is the shoulder band as well. So I sew and then you press this side, the one with the seam, you press it down like this and then use your iron to press this so in order to attach it after you flip this over after you flip the bodies over this is the top so you're going to fold like a half an inch inwards and iron to make it clean like this okay so after that you're going to attach this you attach this together here so this will be the side that is going to be facing inwards. So I'm just going to pin this down.
So you're going to sew all around. After you pin it down, you sew all here, your top stitch. And then this will be like this. And this will be like that. So that this will be facing your front. And this will be attached to the waistband. Okay. Okay, so now I've gathered the, the skirt. This is the skirt after you've gathered it. So I use the longest stitch in my machine and then you're just going to pull this all through and then this is the band this is the band you're going to attach the zipper first so this is the zipper i'm using a nine inch zipper you're going to attach it here then you get your band like this close up this end then you start attaching it this way you're going to attach all through until we get to this side then you will sew here you sew here close like that then flip it around like this all right so i'm gonna do that and show you what it Okay, so I have gone ahead and attached the zipper. I attached the zipper and the band. So it's time to add the, the bodice. Okay, so what you're gonna do is get the midpoint. Get the midpoint of the skirt, which is right here. And then this is our bodice. You also get the midpoint. So this is the midpoint. All right. Get the midpoint, then you open it up. You open it up like this. And you're going to match your midpoint together like this. So as you can see, we're going to sew up here. So we're going to sew all through here like that. So just go ahead and pin it down like that. Okay, so we're going to sew down and then this is the this is the shoulder band. Then you turn this over to the back. So this is the back now. So the back, the back will come right here. I'm going to sew the back close to the zipper. See the zipper here? That's where you're going to sew the back. Just close like this. You stitch it like this. Remember, I'm not using button for mine, so it's just going to be, you know, like this. And then you get this one. You do the same. So now when you sew it, <clears throat> it 
This is how we're going, it's going to look after you sewing it. And this is the front. And then this, the front is like this. Okay, so I'm going to sew that. And I've also um, hemmed the bottom. I'm going to hem the bottom. So I'm gonna do that. I show you how it, what it looks like on the mannequin later. Okay, so this is the this is the um, dress after I'm done. That's what it looks like. So you can style it using um, white shirts, any color shirt you would like that will match your fabric. You can use a white t-shirt or white shirt with color. And it comes out really nice so this is it so if this tutorial has been helpful please like share comment subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification um, bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos so bye for now and I will see you next time on my next video bye bye